Hello. Well, um, <clears throat> today I want to try and be as sh short as I possibly can um, with this. I don't know how well I'll succeed at that, but uh, give it a whirl and try and be as, you know, as detailed as I can uh, regarding this film. Uh, you know, it came out a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I finally saw it, and Obviously, aside from the title and thumbnail, you know I uh, am talking about Aquaman. And this was the Walmart edition and comes with a keychain. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and all in all, I thought this was a fine movie. Um, Jason Momoa is really good. Um, Willem Dafoe is in this, and he plays the good guy for once. Uh, Patrick Stewart, or Patrick Stu Patrick Wilson, I don't know. Because when it comes to comic book films and Patrick, uh, Patrick Stewart always comes to mind. You know, you do that X-Men. But Patrick Wilson is in this. He plays uh, Arthur Curry's uh, brother. Half-brother, to be precise. Uh, his mother's played by Nicole Kidman, <clears throat> their mother. Uh, Arthur's father is played by Tamara Morrison, who you will you probably remember from the Star Wars prequels. He played Jango Fett and was the, all the clones, um, or at least his face was and his face and voice. Um, I say that because, well, uh, not one piece of... Uh, armor was made for uh, the prequel, so there you go. That's quite impressive for those films, but that's what he's best known for, I would say. And, um, yeah, Willem Dafoe plays a good, good guy, and uh, this has uh, his uh, enemy, uh, Black Manta. And it's a very good origin story. It's a good origin story. Um, this takes place after uh, the Justice League. Um, no, actually before. Well, I don't know. There's some comments there, may like, uh, saving the day and all that. But well, then again, you know, in Justice League, um, there's there's reasons why he's you no know, being looked for to be recruited. So never mind. Disregard that. This like. Uh, this tells his story very well. Um, I don't know. I was just re rethinking of Justice League since it's been a while, and I remember. And there's just a line in this film regarding, you know, saving people and such. And but you know, yeah, it's because Mara, or Mara, she's a Mara is a played by Amber Heard, and she's in Justice League. So clearly they, you know, they obviously know of each other because in this film they meet for the first time. So this does take place before Justice League. Uh, it's just with that line, me now talking about this, it's been a little while because I like to watch something and uh, let it, you know, sit with me for a bit before I talk about it, so... You know, and these videos sort of help with that because you know I'm remembering something, but then while I'm talking about it, something will pop into my mind, and oh, it needs to be sort of like either corrected or you know needs to go somewhere, and the train of thought needs to go elsewhere because you know it might not be going down the right path regarding uh, the topic at hand. But yeah, this is a fine film. You know, Aquaman has often been, you know, the butt of the joke and the the uh, you know the comic book world. Um, you know, DC and even Marvel too. Like overall, in the comic book world, people often make fun of Aquaman because oh, he talks to fish and this and that. But while that is true, at the same time, he's very you know. You know, and this film really shows who he is as a character and how he's not something you just 
point and laugh at. Um, it's really cool. He's really good. Uh, Jason Momoa does a fantastic job. Um, yeah. I'll try and get the movie out here for you. Yeah, there you go. Nothing too spectacular outside of that, but yeah. Yahya Abdul Martin II. That's who uh, plays um, <clears throat> Black Manta. Um, Dolph Lundgren is in this film. Um, oh, and his, he's just. see his face in the movie. I just can't recall the character he plays right offhand. I'm going to look this up real quick. Nere. Nere is king of the Atlantean tribe of Sibyl and Mara's father. All right. Yes, Mara's father. Yeah. So. Yeah, he plays uh, Mara's father, though. And she's a. Uh, yeah, she helps out uh, Arthur in the film. Sort of a. There you go. Um, and, um, yeah, she helps him ar around uh, trying to show him how he's needed because his brother, you know, he can't be king of Atlantis, you know. But it's like it's his time now, and uh, pretty much, and he just wouldn't be a good leader. You know, he's needed because somebody has to take his place and the only other person who can take his who can take his place is the older sibling, you know, and he's older. Um, because uh, their mother didn't want to leave Arthur's father because you know, she loved him and she ran away from a, an arranged marriage, but she had to go back to protect them. And Willem Dafoe uh, trained uh, Arthur. And, uh, you know, it's really cool. It's really good. Um, I don't want to talk a, bit, a little bit more because um, I feel if I do, I'll get into plot some spoilers. And I know this did very well successfully at the box office. It's, it's now the highest grossing DC film, uh, taking the Dark Knight Rises is, is spot. Um, which, you know, is, I have to say, it's quite interesting, you know, Batman, you know, was the first comic book character to ever make a billion dollars, you know, in a way that makes sense. Batman's really popular. Um, you know, twice, two in a row, you know, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises made over a billion dollars. Each one made more than previous, which is good. You would think that, though, for another DC film, another character from DC that would make a billion dollars, you know, you would think that it uh, it would be Superman, you know. Wonder Woman was very successful, too, but you think one Superman would be the next logical one to make over a billion dollars. Perhaps even, maybe even Wonder Woman, but it was Aquaman. The uh, Aquaman, the character people often think is uh, a joke, and this version is not is no joke. He's really, it's really cool. It's really different, and uh, I, I liked it. I thought it was a fine movie. Um, you know, there's even an exclusive sneak peek of Shazam in here. I have a, you know, a 
that's coming out. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know when I'll see that. Uh, some other movies. I want to see Captain Marvel also. Just to see what that's like. I know there's been some mixed stuff about that film. Anyway, uh, yeah. This film is directed by James Wan. Uh, and if you don't know, he co-wrote and directed the original Saw. He did a fantastic job uh, at that as well as this. You know, and apparently this is the kind of film he wants to make. He wanted to make big blockbusters. You know, he wanted to uh, get to the point where he could make something like this. And he did a fantastic job. And um, I believe there's a sequel in the works. I think he's uh, going to come back, so that would be good. Um, yeah. Aquaman's really good, so there you go. Um, what do you think of Aquaman? Do you like it? Do you not like it so much? Do you think it's okay? Do you like any of the other DC EU films? Like Wonder Woman? Is it, do you think that's better? Do you think Man of Steel is better? Or Justice League? Batman vs. Superman or Suicide Squad. Um, well, some of those I mentioned aren't that popular. But hey, you know, there are fans of those films. Um, so are you a fan? Are you not? Um, if you want, you can leave a comment. Or you don't have to. Uh, but regardless, um, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good week. Good weekend, and I will see you next time.